Hi, I'm Tyler Phillips from Matthew Studio Equipment here in Burbank, California. I'm here today talking about the new DC slider. A slider is basically a miniature dolly on track. The DC is so different because it is a slider that will allow you to slide in multi-angles. We're now going to take you through the complete setup starting with the assembly through counterbalancing the slider to the many different slider functions as well as the mini jib setup. So the first part of assembly would obviously be to open your smaller case. And then I'm gonna go ahead and remove the base of the DC slider, which we call the fulcrum. This fulcrum works with a 100 millimeter ball. And we're gonna go ahead and insert this ball into a 100 millimeter bowl tripod. We like to use heavy duty tripods as the complete system once set up can weigh up to about 80 pounds. So today we're working with a 100 millimeter bowl heavy duty tripod. I'm going to go ahead and take the fulcrum of the DC and insert it into the bowl. So now that I have the fulcrum into the bowl of the tripod, I'm going to go ahead and secure it and balance it with the locking knob. Once I have it almost tight, I want to go ahead and precisely level it and then really secure it with the handle. Yeah, we're rock solid there. Once that's complete, we're gonna go ahead and get into the big case. And we're gonna grab our rail, which measures six feet long. This whole system comes in the two cases where it's really protected by foam and plastic as you don't want to ding up your, your rail for obvious reasons. So go ahead and remove the main part of your system, which is obviously this rail system, the slider. And once it's in a, in a location where you can get to it quite easily, you're going to want to remove the black kip handles. So once you get these handles completely out, you're gonna wanna go ahead and rest them in a nearby location. I like to rest them right on the base of the fulcrum here. Now I can go ahead and grab my rail system. Grab your rail system, and you're gonna wanna mount it right on top of this fulcrum here, just like so. The idea is to get this bar down the middle in the grooves on the top of this fulcrum. Generally in this location, there's a rail that goes down the middle and there's two like little prong grooves like that that it rests into. Now that I have the slider in the top of the fulcrum, I'm gonna actually spin it around so you can see. There is a wrong way and a right way to mount this slider. There's a title here which says wheel friction. You want this hole to be lined up with this lever down here on the bottom, this, this threaded lever. So match up the wheel friction with the lever and you know you have the slider mounted in the correct position. Once you have that done, go ahead and grab your black kip handles again and remount them 
between what I call the smiley face and the threaded hole within the fulcrum. And I'm going to do the same for the opposite side. And now I'm secure. Now I'm ready to actually counterbalance this system, which is the unique part about the DC slider. We're now going to go ahead and get into the counterbalance section of the DC slider. The first step would be to grab your camera package and your fluid head, because that's what we're counterbalancing. So I'm going to go ahead and grab my fluid head, which it's a unique fluid head. Many manufacturers make them, but the DC slider requires a flat plate fluid head. And when I say flat plate, I mean literally a flat plate and not a standard ball, which you would get on another fluid head or standard fluid head. I'm going to go ahead and take my flat plate fluid head and mount it to the top of my camera platform on the DC slider. It takes a 3 8 bolt, 3 8 inch threaded bolt into the 3 8 inch female on the flat plate. So I'm going to go ahead and take my flat plate fluid head and mount it to the camera platform using the 3 8 inch hole on the bottom of the flat plate. For more information, please visit our website at www.digitalcinemacourse.com. And that was the DC Slider by Matthews. Thank you for watching Digital Cinema Course.